Infault Municipal Council imposes ban on the men's trade vendors in Kwerenban women market from today. Jerobas shoppers warm Kwerenban market a day ahead of the festival. Health Secretary Suman Singh and leaders of Manipuri Muslims appeal to minority Muslims not to believe in false rumors about measles and rubella vaccines. And people to remember those killed in Kodongpopi encounter of 1982 at Matis Complex in Tamibang Cherokee today. Hello and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. I'm Kangozam Shalira with the top stories and latest news at this hour. Infault Municipal Council has imposed ban on women street vendors in Kwerambant Women Market today. Mohut Minister Taunajum Shyam Kumar has announced be fitted actions under Infault Municipal Act against those defying the imposition. Addressing media person at the Mohut Minister's office chamber in Secretary Shyam Kumar said the imposition is effective from today and officials of IMC have been instructed to start taking appropriate actions against those who do not abide the new imposition. Shyam Kumar mentioned that no man will be allowed to carry business transaction at Kwerambant Ima Market, which is known for all over the world as the biggest market run by women. However, shopkeepers are exempted from the ban. On the other hand, the Mahut Minister also said instructions were given to relevant officials to inspect whether dustbins and firefighting equipments are kept at all shops in and around Kwerambant Market. He further warned that inspection will soon ensue to check construction of town planning and implementation of the Infal municipality by law in Kwerambant Market after April 15 so that appropriate actions may be taken against any improper or illegal constructions. <laughs> ตุกานตะบะตะอตอปะนุปาสิงนะอิมาสิงมรักตะอิเชสิงมรักตะ Forest Department Government of Manipur in a press release stated that Head Forest Guard L. Swaringam has been suspended for misuse of the watermark LTP. It may be mentioned that Forest and Environment Minister T. H. Sham Kumar earlier assured the suspension of the Forest Guard. Department of Forest and Press Lee said that the department, considering the importance of wildlife's notified ban under the Wildlife Protection Act 1972, any weapon, including air guns, catapults, battery operated fishing nets, bird traps, etc., which can harm or kill wild animals or birds in the state. Jerawa shoppers have thronged Kwerambant Market today. People across the state who follow Hindu religion throng the market since early morning to purchase seasonal fruits, vegetables, flowers and other items required to celebrate the festival. The shoppers were seen swarming mostly in the seasonal vegetables market areas as varieties of indigenous cuisines are the specialty of the festival. People wish that the festival bring peace and prosperity in the state. On the other hand, the women vendors expressed that the sale is comparatively lower this year to previous years. ไฮยิงเจ้าเอาไว้ลอกด้วยนี่ปลีเฮาไอเนี่ยไฮกะเอลีเนี่ยอะไรเงี้ยพอดีกอมเนี่ยปะกัมบงอะโนบะกาเซ
Hayeng serau ba ibasi koi ki Bengali da serak puja koi Manipuri da Manipuri koi ki Hindu jam gaur samprata itu na koi ki koi serau ba ayana dum khangna re masida mati alai bu koi ki sang tanah ba manga ana da ketai komodi dum langsi ki khali an serau ba ani si kana mana cumila alai bu tu tu koi nai bangam de si je anu pen kala lagi re kala koi ki cin bersih tu ko lai bangam khangda ba mati ente koi ya manga ada yang tau jero jam jam da koi cori pangtong la ba cinau atau pa jati kuli mukje amat tu ina Mungkin ni nelayan mina pak, mesti waktu ni pam jawab atau ayah hen bagai tu pam jadi. Hadi gom dia mahu sih tena kopi dekat sini. Posi lah, ini mama ni am heli dah. Nasi di sini ni untang naik ni, nak hamun ni heli pak. Posi cik mama ni am heli. Oh, aku ini no mau pam, ada lain dah kat pada kat toh kere lap toh kere. Oh, nasi kita lupa di sini aku mesti dia yole. Mama ni dia am yole. Governor of Manipur, Dr. Nasma Haftala, has extended her wishes on the occasion of Cherauba. The governor in her message wished all the Hindu community of the state and hoped that Cherauba will bring communion, harmony and peace in the state. Chief Minister Nongtumbam Biren has also greeted the people of the state on the occasion of Cherauba. In his message, the Chief Minister wished that the festival bring peace, unity and love among the people of the state. Works Minister Tongam Bishwa said has also greeted the people of the state on the joyous occasion of Chairauba. In his greeting, Bishwa said, said that, as we celebrate the festival with pure mind and body, rekind linked a new vista of light for a better tomorrow, it is time to recollectively work to destroy the dark forces in the society trying to disrupt the peace of progress in the state. Forest and Environment Minister Tihe Shyam Kumar also sent his greetings on the occasion of Cheroba. Minister Shyam Kumar wished for prosperity, peace, development and harmony. Communist Party of India, CPI Manipur State in a press release extended wishes for prosperity on the occasion of Cheroba. Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee President T.N. Haukipt in a press release extended a wish on the occasion of Cheroba. Lok Sabha MP T. Mania and former Deputy Chief Minister Gai Kangam also extended their well wishes on the occasion. Health Secretary Suman Singh and leaders of Manipuri Muslim had clarified that there is no hidden agenda in conducting measles and rubella vaccination campaign against the minority Muslim community. Addressing media person at public hospital and research institute Hatta today, Suman Singh appealed to the Muslim community not to be misled into believing that the MR vaccination campaign is targeted to harm the Muslim community in any way. He lamented that though the childhood killer diseases have been eradicated from the rest of the world, the diseases are still prevalent in the country. He asserted that the MR vaccination has no side effects and further appealed not to believe in false rumors. Taking part in the press meet, Chairperson of Manipur State Minorities Commission, Dr. Sahid Barunuddin, termed it unfortunate that false rumors were spread on the social media, stating that the vaccines will sterilize against fertility. Leaders of the Muslim community at the press meet asserted that MR vaccines were approved by the Islamic law and further appealed to the Muslim community to extend cooperation for the successful conduction of the MR vaccination. Our community elders have pointed out in full details that this vaccine is safe and it is secure and people should not believe or give attention to rumors of different kind which was pointed out. The campaign is being run with the collaboration of multiple agencies. It is government of Manipur, health department, in collaboration with other departments, social welfare department, then uh, we have uh, NCC, education department, and then we have international agencies, World Health Organization, UNICEF, UNDP, all these agencies together and of course with the community leaders and the non-governmental organization all these agencies are together doing this campaign it is not being run by one agency and it is run in extremely transparent manner uh, all people are participating anybody can come and see how things are being done so the process is transparent it is open to people it is being run by people and it is safe and secure people should welcome the campaign people Director of Manipur State Ayush Directorate, Dr. Ariban Guneshwar was felicitated with certificate for his contribution in bringing medical revolution in the field of Ayurveda and homeopathy in Manipur and other eastern regions. 
Addressing media person at IUS Directorate in Tlumfil, Dr. Aribam Guneshwar stated that a new wave of development in the field of Ayurveda and homeopathy swept in the northeastern states, including Manipur recently. Subsequently, Manipur State Medical Plant Board was established and now an integrated 50-bedded hospital at Tlumfil is fully functional. He said the government is putting all out efforts for construction of Ayush Homeopathy Medical College in Lumfil and 50 bedded Ayush Hospital H in Kairau, Georgiampur, and Moray. Dr. Aribant Guneshwar also stated that the Ministry of Ayush, Government of India, has approved in principle for construction of herbal gardens inside Kangla and other districts. He asserted that Ayurveda and homeopathy will will be taking a huge responsibility in the healthcare delivery system of Manipur. It may be mentioned that Dr. Aribang Guneshwar was facilitated at the regional 263rd birth anniversary observance of the founder of homeopathy, Dr. Samuel Haniemont, recognized by the Ministry of the Ayush Government of India on the World Homeopathy Day at Shillong on April 10th. Government of Indiana Ministry of Ayushki Makada, Kangla Harwell Garden, I quite developed the Nanabagi the Magda Madu, approval Pibagi Thakta Lere, I quite Manipur Damasung, North East, Ayushki Darkawe by Hidak Shinga, Regional Jonda, Masi, Sungway Ananabagi Port Ama, I quite Narang Nahan Magda Zu, Tent, April Day, I quite Masi Kanaze, Masi Matakta, Corporate Body Ama, North Eastki, Wina Siemaga, Maduna, Edison, Pankayama, Launanaba. Amadi, a queen government of India, the government of Manipuda, a quick project, Amasung, Iskim Kayazigi, Matanga, a queen suggestion, Pinanaba, implement, Taunanaba Kayama, a quick honorary. As observed every year, Atawa Singhi Ningxing Numit was observed at Martyrs Complex in Tangwebun Cheraoching today. People of the state offered floral tributes to the martyrs at the observance in memory of nine cadres of proscribed outfit. Revolutionary People's Front RPF who died in an encounter with the Indian Army on April 13, 1982 in Kudongpokpi in Fault West. Large number of people of the state, both from the hills and the valley, attended the memorial observance since early in the morning. Police personnel identified the visitors before letting them towards the memorial sites. Upon reaching the site on the top of the Tamiban Chirauching, people honored the martyrs with candle lights and floral tribute. Family members and near and dear ones of the martyrs mourned for their lost ones. Tight security arrangements were made to prevent any untoward incident by Manipur police personnel during the observance. Secretary Publicity of Proscribed Outfit, Revolutionary People's Front RPF, Robin Kumand has appreciated the people of the hills and the valley and all those who participated at Atoba Singhi Ningxing Numid Observance at Jairauching and at other memorial sites today. Floral tributes to martyrs at RPF's Council Headquarters, PLS, General Headquarters, Tactical Command, Strategic Command, 252 mobile battalion, other units, departments, stations, central virus of the party, SR1, SR2, SR3 and SR4 mark the observance. President of the Proscraft Outfit, KCP, MGC, Toba Luang in a press list wished the people of the state on the occasion of the party's 38th Foundation Day today. The press list further appealed for people's cooperation to the outfit's endeavor. CPI Manipur State Council has alleged the country white hunger strike led by Prime Minister Narendra Modi as baseless and an act of threat to democracy. Speaking to media person at Irabod Bhavan this afternoon, Secretary of the Council, Lystrom Sotin Kumar mentioned that the BJP government in the country does not respect the constitution, parliament, democracy and secularism of the country. He recalled that when Narendra Modi sworn in as the Prime Minister, he called the parliament as a temple. However, the Prime Minister has never attended assembly of the parliament. He once called a temple. Sotin Kumar alleged that Narendra Modi has been talking about matter brought out by the opposition outside the house. He also alleged that the Prime Minister of 
focusing on direct investment from world's richest investors during the budget session. Sotik Kumat further stated that Narendra Modi-led government is trying to abolish secularism and that it is following the ideology of RSS to spread Hinduism throughout the country. He mentioned that the schemes introduced by Chief Minister Birent-led state government do not seem to be well implemented. Sotin Kumar stated that holding meetings with the people of the state do not prove that the government is for the people and works for the people. He mentioned that the CPI will face the undemocratic states of the BJP. Opposition sing na pukala po wapam kaya singa se masigi ning tinungay na pakum amata baharot ki parliament manung pide madugi ona tena bata mapan da chalaga opposition sing bu tinu chayba amadi makan kaya gi oiru deo prasar kaya tawi constitution dagi secular oiba policy ase lokthong bayam kan honari hindu khakta ki oiba hindu rashtrama semning bagi madu maina sangjal eiba RSS ki Adam Kongtang Kaya Singh Ado, Jab Chana Narendra Modi Na Pangtok Na Bho Nae. Pagi State Asi De Su, Biren Ki Sarkar Se Amba Dagi, Tongan Tongan Bak Pekez Kaya, Lupa Karur Kaya Ki, Adam Pekez Kaya, Lok Tok Tana Miyam Da Mitrang Tawra Ka, Bajet Da Di Pasha Amat Ta Ning Thino Ayin Hap Taba Kaya Singh Masi Puna Ma Khang Na Ra Bungak Dane. Employees of the Department of Youth Affairs and Sports tease a sit-in at Kumant Lampak Sports Complex today in solidarity to Old Manipur Trade Union's Council, Amtuk and Old Manipur Government Employees Organization, MGO's campaign for the implementation of the 7P Central Commission in the state. Speaking in connection with the sit-in, senior football coach S. Mani Ratan asserted that the demand for implementation of the 7 pay commission is legitimate. He said the 7 pay commission is already implemented in other states. Mani Ratan also said that the employees of Department of Youth Affairs and Sport will support all initiatives on the same by MGO and AMTO. It may be mentioned that the Chief Secretary, Dr. J. Suresh Babu, had earlier assured that the state government would ensure would issue an order by April 30 for implementation of the recommendation of 7P Central Pay Commission with respect to state government employees and pensioners. Atopa Topa State ke koi na comparison to ururu kanda. Ekhoi ki Manipur sida uju uju. हाँ ना कि ममांगी ले रही बस लास्ट 60 इयर्स को मत कि दी हाँ तक कि गवर्नमेंट्स ने है ना बता कोई कि सेंट्रल का है ना नक्शा ना ना थबक तो वो तो मुझे हुई अब उसमें सी मतलब ना ते ते नाइबर्स ते चिंग ते दी सेवेन पे पी ही बच जाती है कोई मशी इन टाइमली ओके मशी खर थूने लाऊं ना बगी मरम दी नक्शन ना बगो मेन वाइन उगवनी ना मशी को खुरोंग चाबे जे ओके गो मेन शायद की लोहन नहीं करीब मत थबक तो उन थोर अब तरक दी ओके जे सीने संशय लग पा थोरो थबक थोरम खुदी मत ओके एम्प्लॉय लोहन शरु गया जगनी all Manipur Surrender Welfare Association AMSWA in a press release stated that the statewide general strike plan to be imposed on April 15 has been withdrawn after the members of the association came to an understanding with Chief Secretary, SP and OC of the CIT after a meeting. Lok Sabha MP and in charge of BJP Manipur Brothers, Prahlad Singh Patil assured the people of the Mori that the state government will fix the lacking facilities and infrastructure in Mori town at the earliest. The MP, who is on a state visit, gave his assurance after inspecting various places in Moray today. Pralat Singh, accompanied by Speaker Gimnam Kamchan and leaders of BJP Manipur Pradis, inspected different areas in Moray along with leaders of Moray around 7.30 this morning. The team inspected Indo-Myanmar Friendship Gate No. 2, Moray Hospital and Crematory Ground of the Hindus near Moray River. Speaking on the sidelines of the visit, MP Pralat expressed atonishment at the non-ability of gynecologies, solar light system and proper quarters of four doctors of Moray Hospital. The MP also held a meeting with the leaders of the Moray town at Elora Hotel, Moray after their inspection. The leaders on behalf of the people of Moray submitted a memorandum highlighting difficulties and lacking facilities at the town during the meeting. MP Pralat also assured that he will direct the state government to take out necessary works at the earliest. Moray is a very important place. The Biyavishayak Dastri is also a very important place. All the countries have been here. It will be less than that. First, we will talk about the first place. We will talk about the terminal completion. On the taxation rate, the government is doing its own decisions. दलहन का उत्पादन होता है तो स्वाभाविक है कि इम्पोर्ट इम्पोर्ट एक्सपोर्ट पर कहीं ना कहीं चेक बैलेंस होता है 
पर कुछ चीजें ध्यान में आई हैं जो सरकार के ध्यान में हम लाएंगे बीजेपी युवा मोर्चा मणिपुर प्रदेश ऑब्जर्व समरास्था अभियान एट लमयाम्बा संगलैन इन पैलेस कंपाउंड टुडे द नेशन वाइज समरास्था अभियान कैंपेन टू रिमूव कास्टिज्म एंड टू गिव द मैसेज अ ब्रदरहुड एंड हारमोनी इन डिफरेंट सेक्शंस ऑफ सोसाइटी वाज लॉन्च्ड बाय भारतीय जनता युवा मोर्चा मेंबर बिमराव अंबेडकर टुडे ऑन द वर्थ एनिवर्सरी ऑफ बी आर अंबेडकर द आर्किटेक्ट ऑफ द इंडियन कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन The seven and a half month long Samprasta campaign will end on the occasion of Ambedkar's death anniversary on December 6. Speaking as chief guest Raja Sabha MP K S H Babananda said, "We need to work towards progress, progress, progressive development for all the community." He emphasized on the youth to play their role honestly and sincerely in bringing the much needed change in the state. He also appealed to the youth to acquire knowledge before entering politics. President of BJP Yuva Morcha Manipur Pradesh, Y Somorjit stated that the main theme of the program is communion harmony. He asserted that education is the prerequisite in achieving communion harmony and maintained that only through education development of the state will be attained. Deputy Speaker of Manipur Legislative Assembly K Robindro and MLA Sigmai Constituency H Dingo were among those present at the event. और बिगड़ पार्टी को भी मंगल है अगर हमारे मार्गी कम्युनिटी से मंगल हम होना होता है तो इन्हें तो वो पाए अधिकी न तो वो प्रस्ताव न तो वो तोड़ के बहुत काम करता है अगर ये निश्चित मारा आज का ना पॉलिटिक्स से सारी लोग ना कुछ भी तो पॉलिटिक्स तो उधर देगी मगर ही मंगल न तो वो ऐसे किसी � अगर मेरी कई लोग तकाले पॉलिटिक्स सेंगो को मत तकाले पॉलिटिक्स सेंगो के हाई कार्ड में आई इंसान है सेंगो को तकाले The 15-day long Cherawa National Handloom Expo 2018, organized by Directorate of Handlooms and Textile Manipur at Urban Hut in Nilakuti, concluded today. The National Handloom Expo, Expo was sponsored by Development Commissioner for Handlooms, the Ministry of Textile, Government of India. Officer in charge of Weaver Service Centre, the Ministry of Textile, Government of India, C. Raza Sekarant, Deputy Director, Directorate of Handlooms and Textile, C. H. Sukumar, Top officials of the department and women weavers were present at the closing event. Speaking in connection with the National Expo, Project Manager of Handloom in Fort West, T. H. Shunila, asserted that successful conduction of the National Handloom Expo was facilitated by the availability of, of an urban hut at Nilakuti constructed by the government. She said an expo for weavers and artisans at state border villages was also successfully held at the urban hut. Sunila further said the department concerned intends to conduct such an unceasing events at urban hut to empower the women weavers and artisans of the state. He also appealed to the people of the state to visit the urban hut to purchase handicrafts and handloom products. मतम मतम की फेस्टिवल का मरी लेने ना पंक्तुक चरिबा कोई की मेला सिंसी कोई मफम चिदा थ्रू आउट द ईयर कोई की पंक्तुक चर गदोरी बनी मशी अनेक शो बनी मफम चिदा कोई ना पंक्तुक चर बसी ममांग दा कोई कन्नू बॉर्डर बिलेजर्स की कोई उन पंक्तुक चर घरे कोई डायरेक्टर अब हेलो में टेक्सटाइल्स ना कोई डाइंग तोड़ Parents Forum Group of Aspirants MPSC in a press release urged to punish those responsible in the misconducts of the MCSCC Men's Exam 2016. The press release further drew the attention of the MPSC and Government of Manipur to look into the matter and take appropriate action at the earliest. Chief Minister Nangtumbang Biran inspected the ongoing construction of Civil Secretariat at Mantri Pukit today. The team comprising of Chief Secretary Dr. J. Suresh Babu and top officials of the government inspected the construction works this afternoon. The Chief Minister also directed the officials concerned to complete the work at the earliest. CPI Marxist Manipur State Committee in a press release condemned the BJP government for relocating the construction site of the Imphal East District Hospital from Sagolmang, where the foundation stone has been already laid. CPI Marxist Manipur State Committee termed the government's decision as unjust. 
Joint Action Committee JSC against unnatural shifting of the Infalis District Hospital Sagol Monk in a press release has stated that the people of Sagol Monk have put their hesitation on, on hold till April 15. The GSC warned of intensifying their hesitation from April 16 if the state government does not change its stand of shifting the construction of the hospital from Sagolma. Another person from Myanmar presently residing at Moriwat No. 9 has been arrested in connection with the Rohingya human trafficking case yet again. The arrested person is identified as Jayabu Rahamant alias Mongle, 35 years, son of Let Mohammad Shaira Guhuk from Kwatao in Rakhine Prani district of Rakhine State and Myanmar presently residing at Mori Wat No. 9. Mori police said Jayabu Rahamant was arrested in connection with the recent case of human traffickers arrested in Mori by a combined team of Mori Commando and Mori Police Station led by OC of Mori Commando Inspector P. Tarun Kumar. He was handed over to Mori Police Station. Altogether, nine persons are arrested so far in connection with Rohingya human trafficking case by the combined team. Kangabok Development and Student Union Kangabok Mayai Lekai in a joint press release condemned the physical assault on Dr. Romeo Kundrakpumt and Kundrakpumt Ruby Kumar from Kangabok Awang Lekai by the escort of the MLA Kairau constituency near Singjami Market on the evening of April 12th allegedly for not allowing to overtake their vehicle. The union condemned the incident as promotion of VIP culture in the state and further appealed to the chief minister to suspend the PSO and commanding officer involved in the incident to ensure such incidents do not occur in the future. And now in sports. Trao FC Manipur beat their rival in a match of the second division league yesterday. In a match of the Group C league played at the ground of SNN College Chennai, Trao FC Manipur beat home team Chennai and FC 2-1. Away team Trao FC Manipur's Prince Weld, Emeka and El Milan netted one goal each in the 42nd and 56th minutes of the match. The lone goal for Chennai in absent was netted by Mohamed Jamont in the 32nd minute of the match. Trao FC now has 10 points after winning three matches and one match drawn from total four matches of the league played so far. Trao FC Manipur will meet home team Bangalore FC in a match of the league participated by 10 football clubs divided into three teams on April 16. Before we end, let's take a look at the headlines once again. Infal Municipal Council imposes ban on men street vendors in Kwaramban Women Market from today. Cheroba Sopo's warm Kwaramban Market a day ahead of the festival. Health Secretary Suman Singh and leaders of Manipuri Muslim appeal to minority Muslim not to believe in false rumors about measles and rubella vaccines. And people remember those killed in Kodompopi encounter of 1982 at Martis Complex in Tamilun Chirauching today.